Okay, this circuit I'm going to call the diode oscillator, and it's quite unusual in the respect it doesn't use any resistors or capacitors to cause the oscillations for the transistor. It uses a diode, and the, the transistor layout is something called the complementary Darlington, where one transistor is a PMP and the other is an MPN. And so what I've done is I've put a diode in between the base of the PMP to the base of the MPN, and this is a 4148, and this is what's causing the circuit to oscillate. And uh, apart from that, it's quite uh, simple. The power source, it's a double A battery, so it's like a dual feed in some respects. And the LED can either go across the emitter collector of the PMP or across the inductor, but reverse the uh, polarity of the LED. And that's about it. Transistor selection, you can use uh, most PMP types here. Uh, I'd go for a higher gain transistor for the uh, NPN. Uh, that's about it. So what I've done is I've built two circuits just to make sure it wasn't a quirk of the transistor. And this is the first one. And this is using a small inductor. The circuit's here. None of this other stuff's involved. The first in inductor is out of a CFL bulb. And uh, that's one of these things here. Basically, if you take it to pieces, uh, there's fuller components in there. And there's usually a couple of inductors. And I think this one is rated at 3 microhenries, which is quite low. But it works uh, really well. And uh, that's drawing about 4 milliamps. And it's broad daylight here, and the LED is pretty bright. So, double uh, A battery. So that's the first one. So I built another one to make sure, you know, it wasn't a quirk of the transistor. And that's working great. But what I've done with this one is I've made it so I can interchange coils. So I can show you a few different coils. And the first one is uh, what lid motor uses for his penny oscillator. It's one of these garden wire coils with the steel wire. And that works really well. So I'll just swap that one out and change it to a small speaker. But we can't hear anything because the frequency is so high. So it's on a speaker now, but there's nothing coming out of the speaker. So it's obviously beyond audible range. Uh, current drawer is 3.7 milliamps. And uh, the last coil I'll show you is a slinky spring. And I thought this is quite unusual because as it is there, there's no insulation at all on this. So it's like a dead short. And if I connect that up, that works great too. So that's the diode oscillator. Thanks for watching.